We enter the coach and notice you've got some really nice chrome trim. This is actually a storage area here if you want to put road flares or gloves or anything you didn't want to get dirty. Flex steel furniture, of course. And this is going to be the flex steel ultra leather. You've got a really wide seat here. And Fleetwood spends a lot of time working together with Freightliner to design these chassis. So you notice if we look here, everything's visible. You've got all your gauges. Your uh, lights, wiper blades, cruise control are all built right into your steering wheel. This steering wheel will telescope in and out and it will also adjust up and down. Right here is your computer system. So this will tell you how many miles you've gone, what kind of miles per gallon you're getting, and uh, how many overall miles are on the unit. If we start back in the back here, you can see we've got all these convenient gauges. This is your generator hours, 41. You've got 41 hours on a diesel generator. Right here is for your mirrors. So you can adjust that up or down, left or right. Right and left mirror and then your defrost. You've got the auxiliary battery start. So if you ever get into a position where your battery get low, a chassis battery, you can hit that button and that's going to link up your house and chassis batteries together. Help get you on the road. Right here is your exhaust brake. You've got your push button Allison transmission. It's a six speed. And you can actually uh, manually adjust that up or down if you happen to be going up or down hill. Your pedals here will telescope in and out. You can see that controls right here. You're going to have your backup camera, of course, with sound. You've got some docking lights, some uh, overhead lights, your generator start button. This will control your uh, stereo if you want to run it off the chassis power or the house power. AM FM CD player. Your controls for your air conditioner. These three controls here control your lines. So you've got electric sunshades. That'll come down, help get that sun out of your eyes. And then your automatic leveling jacks. See that button there? Auto. Just push a button and it does it for you. Set it and forget it like they used to say. And then we've got a coaxial switch box, your direct TV box. This does have a, a satellite dish that will automatically pick up a signal. Your Panasonic VHS. Dig those out, guys. <laughs> now you've got something that can actually use it. And then your surround sound. You can see all your little surround sound speakers are right in here. If we look here, this will tell you how much... Uh, Water is left in your holding tank, so you get your fresh gray, black, and then propane. Right here, this operates your uh, slide out, so it's a power gear, it's, ele it's electric. You don't have to worry about hydraulic fluids. Have you ever seen that movie RV where that slide comes sliding out because he lost hydraulic pressure? That's never going to happen because this has electric gears. And then you've got your power inverter, all conveniently located right up front. You never have to hunt around this thing. You notice a lot of storage. Look at how tall these doors are. Let me get back here so you actually get a full view. And these go all the way down. Look at that. Just a massive amount of storage. And that's because Fleetwood knows that when you buy something that was brand new, $240,000, it becomes your home. These become houses on wheels. Just an absolutely beautiful shape. And take a look. You've got a fantastic floor plan. This couch here will turn into a bed. You've got seat belts built in, cups here. Same thing on this side, that'll actually jackknife into a bed. Day night shades, and we can pull that out. So that's for diffused lighting. If you want to block that out completely, pull down that second level. Again, a lot more storage. All real wood, nicely finished on the inside. Your Revolution is going to have a molded fiberglass roof. So it's a, a molded roof that comes all the way across. And you're not going to have that seam that's right along that top edge here like you do in a lot of these rubber roofs. It's going to be a lot more durable. Just a ton of countertop space. You've got the residential style faucet that's filtered water there. Of course you're going to have a window in your kitchen. There's nothing worse than 
being trapped in a kitchen and feeling like you're stuck in a cave. Again, just a ton more storage. Right above us, we've got a fantastic fan, so you can turn that on if you were cooking. You're going to have your built-in fan with your confection oven as well. What's nice is you get the confection oven and the conventional oven. This has actually never been used. Take a look at that. All real cording countertops here. You've got a great dinette. You can sit at your dinette, have dinner, look at a campsite. We do have two additional chairs that fold up and stow away. And then take a look at this. You've got a four-door fridge and freezer. It's Norcold, so it's got the adjustable thermostat. And Norcolds tend to be a little more reliable and a little more energy efficient of your Dometics. That's why Fleetwood chose to put it in. There's your built-in ice maker. So if we come back to the back here. Here's your vanity. A, another fantastic fan. So if you have to be taking a shower, you can turn that on. Get all that moisture out of here. They're super quiet too. Medicine cabinet. It's a real wooden medicine cabinet. We open this up and take a look at this. You've got a new angle shower. A couple things to point out. There's, it's one piece. There's no seam along this side here. So we've eliminated a potential leak spot. We don't have to worry about caulking issues. You get the seat that folds down. So if you had mobility issues, those are really nice to have. Your new angle shower is going to give you a little more elbow room too. This is going to be your water closet. Your toilet here is actually porcelain. So it's a residential style toilet, a third fantastic thing. You turn you even one of these on, you have some of these windows open, it's going to draw out all that hot air that builds up and just suck in all the fresh cool air from wherever you happen to be camping. More storage, perfect for... <laughs> these storage doors are so big, it's hard to fit all of it in the camera properly. But these are going to be perfect for all your towels, toilet paper, anything that you guys want to store away. Take a look at this. Washer and dryer, again, it's never been used. It's, yeah, we've still got the stickers on the front. It's an on one, so it will do its wash cycle. When it's done, it'll automatically start its dry cycle. we got some more parts still in the package there. 14,000 original miles. That's it. Bought in 2007 for 240 grand. You've got the huge queen bed, full size queen here, large closet, pull out television, slide out drawers, what's nice about these drawers is they're nice and deep, and they're what they call full extension drawers, you can get to the very back of them, everything's nicely finished, they slide out, in and out really nicely, got the big ball bearing metal glides right along the side, you can see those. Let's open this guy up. Cedar line closet. Goes all the way back. There's those two chairs I was telling you about earlier. You could live out of this and be perfectly comfortable. What's amazing is right now you can get this $240,000, only seven years old diesel pusher for less than half of what he paid for it. Sometimes you look at these prices and they just make you want to cry. Padded vinyl up top instead of your carpet material so it's going to help resist smells you're not going to have those ugly stainings just an absolutely gorgeous course coach real tile come down check it out in person you won't be disappointed this is out of the box 14,000 original miles 41 hours on your generator like it's brand new less than half the price guys Come down, make us an offer, and we'll see you on the road. Bye-bye.